beautiful friends. Thank you for joining me for an all new Marketing Minute. I am Heather Green, the owner of Silly Farm Supplies, the creator of Fabba TV, a co-producer for the Face and Body Art International Convention, and I'm a face painter just like you. People keep asking me, Heather, do you still face paint? And my answer is, does a singer stop singing? I love face painting and one of my joys is being able to share my experiences and marketing and ideas with you guys to help you earn more so that you can improve your business and grow your business and just enjoy being a creative entrepreneur. So as always, thanks for joining me. I'm also taking this opportunity while I film these marketing minutes to get you guys excited and ready and bring your ideas to Fabaic. That's the Face and Body Art International Convention. It is held every Memorial Day weekend or every other uh, Memorial Day weekend in Orlando, Florida. We're very, very excited because in just about 50 days, five to 600 artists from around the world come together and we paint and we learn and we share. And I am teaching some creative boss marketing classes, social savvy, uh, social media savvy. And then there's, if you don't like those topics, there's over 80 other classes, competitions, Competitions, parties, nightly jams, hands-on experiences that you can uh, participate in if you attend. So if you haven't made plans to be there, please do so. We're really excited about it. The website for more information is fabaic.com. Also, I started face painting when I was 14 and that was a gift given to me by uh, the woman who created Silly Farm, Marcella Mura. She happens to be my aunt as well. And without that gift of supporting my art my artistic abilities and my love for color and doodling, I would not be where I am today. I would not have Silly Farm. I would not have the ability to paint, which is why we created a special program for young artists at Fabaic. So they're apart from their parents' classes. So you can enroll your child at Fabaic. They can learn hands-on face painting, henna, balloons. I'm doing a business talk with them, which I'm really excited about too, because again, if someone did not gift me all the amazing love and support of art, I wouldn't be able to have Silly Farm where it is today. So if you have a young artist in your life, we encourage you to bring them. Don't forget, visit fabaic.com. Okay, so today's topic for Marketing Minutes is not about Fabaic actually. It's about one of the hardest parts of the job for face painters, which is ending the line. I know even after 18 years as an active face painter, it doesn't get easier. I found a couple of shortcuts that I'm gonna share with you today in this Marketing Minutes, but for the most part, ending the line has been a tricky, tricky part for me as a face painter. Why, you ask? Well. You only have two hands and you're usually using them to paint and to hold on to a child's head or to, to clean uh, things in your kit or to use stencils. So it's really impossible to be face painting and to continuously stop what you do and end the line and turn around and tell people that you're sorry. It can be a troubling task, especially while you're trying to move fast and end the line on time. So over the years, I've tried different things and I wanted to share them with you so that you can start seeing which one might work for your best events. And that way we can avoid tears and angry parents and, um, and angry customers, right? So here are my three tips to help you end the line without tears. Now, if you forget about this video, you can also visit my blog on sillyfarm.com because I have a whole blog about line busters and this information is in the most recent Easter line buster blog. So, number one, you can always ask the event organizer for help. At first I was nervous to do this because I have this fear of bothering the people who hire me. I don't want to add more stress to their plate. But I found that angry parents not only complain to me, they complain to the organizers. So in really big city events where we anticipate a large crowd, I try to speak to the organizer ahead of time and say, hey, with 30 minutes before ending time, can you have a volunteer come and stand at the end of my line and advise people that the line is closed for face painting? Now, in many cases, the organizer is happy to oblige. They have volunteers or they have somebody on staff who can help because that's avoiding the problem before it gets bigger. In some cases, that's not always the case. So that can be a little bit tricky. But I always say, if you don't ask, you'll never know. 
So that's my first tip. Just ask and maybe you shall receive. Second, I learned this from uh, my mentor and my teacher, Mama Clown. She started her career as a clown, and oddly enough, so did I, because back in the day, about 20 years ago, the only people face painting really were clowns. So if I wanted to face paint, I had to clown. And one thing that clowns usually have on them is stickers, right? Um, this is a roll of happy face stickers that we sell at Silly Farm, and they're awesome to keep in your pocket to give kids, especially the kids who are scared. So what we started doing is just numbering them and then we can give them out and put them on the kid and then on the last one we say last one in line and granted it doesn't solve the problem of being able to tell every person in line that it's closed but it does give us an accurate count to end the line uh, without so many tears and we can always say well we gave out stickers and only the kids who have stickers are the ones who are going to have time to get painted and it's, okay, and last but not least, this is where the marketing minutes comes in, right? Because I'm all about marketing and every person that you face paint, every um, parent that you come in contact with is an opportunity to grow your business, right? And how do you do that? Either by talking to them or giving them a business card. Okay, so this is my tip for you guys, especially for those who don't want to have to carry an extra roll of stickers. So. Easter is coming up and one thing I like to do is whip out my Easter Bunny stencil or my Easter Bunny stamp. This one is by Ruby Red. There's tons and tons of different ones, um, but this I think costs maybe a dollar, so it's rather inexpensive. So what I do about 30 minutes before finish time or when I see my line is getting really long and I know that I'm going to be finishing up soon is I take a rainbow cake and I take my stencil and what I do is just simply load up my my little stamp with paint and then I walk around and I stamp every kid's hand with a stamp and I give them my business card and I say this is your ticket for face painting and make sure you keep this happy bunny on your hand to make sure that we all get face painted and I know who's next in line. So I'm doing two things. One, I'm stamping their hand and they have a chance to look at it and say, oh, I like the fun colors and that's cool and I have a magic bunny on my hand. But in addition to that, every person waiting has your business card. Now, yes, this might take me an extra five minutes out of my line, but it's a great way to guarantee business and make everybody feel like they got a little something, even if they get out of line. So I hope this marketing minute sparks the light bulb in your head and gives you some fun ways and fun ideas on how to end the line and just give the marketing of your business a little bit of a boost. As always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoy these marketing minutes, leave me some feedback. If you don't like them, I like to hear that too. If there's a topic that you want me to cover, I love to hear from you. You can reach out to me at Silly Farm, um, on my blog, you can reach out to me on Facebook. Also, this is really important guys, I love sharing your work. If you follow us on Instagram, you will see we spend countless hours saving your pictures, adding your name to it, and reposting them. Why? Because we love what we do and we want to show you off. For those of you that tag us Silly Farm, please don't stop. It's a lot faster and easier for us to find your work to be able to repost. If you want to contribute to our newsletter or our blog, email me at heather at sillyfarm.com. If you have ideas, we love to hear from you. Silly Farm is a business by artists for artists. And not just, the, not just me, but for you guys too. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at Fabaic. Tune in this month, April, because I have a new spring uh, festive flower class coming up on Faba TV, which I'm very excited about. And uh, lots of new products this month at Silly Farm. We teamed up with Patty DeLeon, she's amazing, with uh, the Face Paint Shop EU, Alyssa Griffith, Ilsa uh, Coasters, who are all who all just released a line of heart stencils, which you're gonna love. So uh, please support them, support the arts. We love uh, sharing and helping other creative bosses do great things. So thanks, guys, and have a great week.